hey y'all. So I'm gonna try to make this real quick because that is something I was just thinking about and I'm not super decent. <laughs> Whatever. Um, well, I know in my state, the the talk of legalizing weed or marijuana, whatever the fuck you want to call it, it's been talked about, it's been put on the books, but everything is just kind of bit pushed back. For instance, hemp is legal in my state. It's legal to grow hemp, it's legal to sell hemp, and um, you can even get like CBD oils and maybe even some THC, whatever the fuck, probably not THC, but <laughs> the reason why I think that nationally weed hasn't either been taken off the books, decriminalized, or legalized is because, well, two words. Big Pharma. <laughs> Big Pharma. Well, what, like, and here's here's my rationale. Here's how I, I justify this in my head. Would you rather reach for a Tylenol if your foot is hurting or even a headache, or would you rather have a pot cookie? I mean, the choice is obvious. You want to get a little, little, little baked. I mean, it's not, an, <clears throat> it's not entirely for the I just want to get high kind of point, because, um, well, there's alcohol, which is just as dangerous, if not more dangerous than weed. Actually, yes, it's a fuck ton more dangerous than weed. You can actually die from alcohol. No one can physically fucking die from weed. That is physically impossible. You would have to smoke, like, what is it, 500-something joints or blunts? There's a difference. But, um, in a matter of, like, an hour or some shit? Like, that's physically impossible. And, like, not even Snoop himself can smoke that much weed in that little time. And it's not gonna fucking kill you. You might have a heart attack if, if you have uh, problems outside of things that could make you, you know, sick. Cor 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 comorbidities. See, see why I try to avoid the word? <laughs> Obviously, you probably shouldn't have something that's so harsh and makes your heart beat and everything. Like, I, I, had, I went to school with a kid who had a pacemaker. We're still good friends. But I told him, like, weed makes your heart pound. And he's like, that's not for me. I can't do it. I have a pacemaker. Can't. And so I'm like, okay, fine by you. And I know weed can make people, like, freak the fuck out, but lock yourself in your house and just devour everything in your kitchen and you'll be fine. Don't go out driving just like alcohol. But I think the reason why Big Pharma in itself hasn't <clears throat> allowed this to be fully recognized as a, just a thing you can do, one, because of the fucking uh, propaganda. Old folks think that alcohol is a fuck ton more safe than, than weed, and that's just wrong. That is just factually wrong. <laughs> I mean, how many households have been broken up because of alcohol versus someone just smoked a little weed on the side? Not like hard drugs, not like dealing or anything, not like being a criminal. I mean, like, they had a little bit of bud in the, in the evening. That never fucking broke up a family, okay? Alcohol has broken up plenty of families. But, enough ranting about that. <clears throat> so, before I get into the whole big pharma bullshit, let me just say, vaccinate your fucking kids and herbal, herbal whatever the fuck isn't going to cure your cancer. And that's one thing people, like, people on either side of the, the camp don't want to recognize is that, yes, there is some truth in homeopathy and natural healing and whatever. <clears throat> like, for instance, the active ingredient in a lot of painkillers, acetaminophen, is in willow bark. How did people figure that out? They made tea out of it. It made them feel okay, but also gave them the shits. So, now we have medicine, so you don't have to go and scrape some oak bark off the tree and make a nasty-ass tea with it. <clears throat> And so, that's primarily why, in my opinion, things like that aren't going to be legalized because it's so much harder to tax something that is so natural. That's why prostitution, that's exactly the same my prostitution, because you can't fucking tax transactions like that. <laughs> like, of course you can have, like, brothels and whorehouses and everything, just like, is that the same thing? Whatever. <laughs> but, aside from all the moral bullshit, my hair is like... I took a nap earlier, so I'm a little sweaty. <laughs> but aside from all the moral bullshit, there's also the money involved. Because also, if y'all already know the story, the reason why we don't have hemp paper and hemp clothes is because that one motherfucker, I forget his name, had a stake in the paper business, and then he created the whole reefer madness propaganda shit, so that's why we're here now. And everyone still thinks that weed will make you crazy. It's like, no, nah, you ever smoke some? Mm. <laughs> Get, get yourself a little pot cookie or pot brownie. You know, get yourself a little little gummy edible. They sell them online. <laughs> they don't have to know it's going to your house if you're in a legal state. Um, which, I'm going to plead the fifth. I've never done that. I've... I know that's kind of different from pleading the fifth. I'm, I'm getting all kinds of fucking jumbled up here. Anyway, y'all know my fucking point. <clears throat> Follow the money trail. That's all I really got to say. 
And of course, being very liberty-minded like me, I'm just thinking, um, I should have my own pot trees. Like, not just leaf. Like, you can get them massive. You can get, you can get bud really fucking big. You can make marijuana trees absolutely fucking massive. <laughs> but I want to be able to guard that with my machine guns, whatever the meme is. I think that's the meme. Guarding my pot leaves with my whatever. You don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. So I'm going to peace out now because um, I'm kind of sweaty. I need to turn that AC on. And look at the Febreze. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> One thing I forgot to add is that hemp, things made of hemp, are so much fucking superior to things that are made with paper because not only have not only do trees take so fucking long to grow and there's a whole problem with like monoculture and replanting them uh it's called weed for a reason it grows like that so if we could make that switch maybe things will be better for the planet maybe liberals have left to bitch about but i don't know i don't care who <laughs>